everyone. Michelle Seidling here with another episode of Food Experience Unplugged. Today, we are exploring the importance of functional medicine in your wellness journey. And who better to do that than the functional medicine guru, Renee Bergman. So Renee, welcome to the podcast today. This podcast is available on multiple platforms, including YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and others. Please be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform to be informed as new episodes become available. If you enjoyed today's episode or any of our episodes, please rate and review the podcast on your favorite platform. As always, check out our website at foodexperienceunplugged.com for some resources as you begin your health journey. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to be here. Uh, We are so excited to learn more about functional medicine and all the ins and outs. But first, will you take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us what brought you to this point in your life and career and why functional medicine? Absolutely. So again, my name is Renee Bergman and I run Megaphone Functional Health and I am a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. So that's a lot of words. Essentially, um, I'm a a health detective. So I get to the root causes of why people are having all different symptoms that can be really confusing that a lot of times um, Western medicine maybe is questioned by and confused by. Um, And we help uncover that through three really key elements. We use functional labs. So we look at all the different systems to see exactly what's happening within them. So our gut or hormones, our mineral balance, um, our adrenal system, um, and food sensitivities. And then we come up with a plan together of what does it look like for your health journey? How do we actually uncover that and and do the work together? Oftentimes in... um, the health world, we kind of have this like stamp of like, try this diet, try this approach, which many of them are really great approaches, but they just, they take a little bit more when your health has really begun to deteriorate and you feel like you can't get to the bottom of why you just feel awful. Maybe you have an autoimmune disease or gut dysfunction or hormones are out of whack. All of those things that are kind of puzzling as to how to really feel better within them. Um, And then we also really look at that mind, body, spirit connection, how those are so intricately tied to one another. We are not just physical beings. We are not just soulful beings. We are not just a mind. Um, We are all of those together. And oftentimes we have that overlooked in our health journeys of how to really integrate those in. And so I'm Enneagram trained and I really help people understand where um, they fall in the Enneagram and how that can help them to uncover who they are in their past and how they move forward in their health journey. So a little bit about me, um, about six or seven years ago, um, I began to have a lot of health issues go on. I woke up one day and my face was gigantic. I looked like Quasimodo. Um, And um, I started seeing doctors. People were puzzled by what was happening with me. I was having swelling um, in lots of different places throughout my body. Um, I felt like I just wanted to be in bed all day. My gut was a mess. my periods were just all over the map. And after seeing doctor after doctor, having diagnoses that kind of made sense with some autoimmune disorders, I finally fell into functional medicine. Um, and in and through that process, I went through everything that I do now for, for um, my clients and patients is to begin uncovering where those root illnesses were coming from. And so it was discovered as in the beginning phases of lymphoma. And the reason I was there is because I had um, infected implants in my mouth. And um, so I had these implant teeth in my mouth for like 20 years. And I was allergic to some of the metals that were in them. Um, And so you can imagine after 20 years of having that kind of slowly leach into your body because it's bound to your, your bone at that point. And then I got an infection in them and it began to spread throughout my body and it, it began to create lots of havoc in all different areas. Um, It opened up my gut for having parasites come in. My hormones um, went totally awry. I had no ability to fight off any infections that came my way, illness, things like that. Um, And so through the process of really doing testing and and uncovering those things, I began my own healing journey of a really unconventional way of getting to um, feeling like a normal person again. And what I found is that now I'm in my 40s and I have more energy now in my 40s than I did back in my 20s. And it's because I wasn't 
actually very well there then either. It just wasn't, I had a lot of adaptive reserve, right? Because I was in my twenties, you know? And so there was a little bit more like just natural energy, natural adrenaline. But as I went further and further and I had more babies and life happened, trauma came at me, all of those things, my body finally went, ah, uh, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, and so then after really fixing a lot of that, figuring out exactly what foods fueled my body, getting rid of a lot of the parasites, getting rid of infection, I had surgery in my mouth. I had a lot of teeth removed um, and saw a holistic dentist, did a lot of work through that. Um, I began to come back to life and I have run multiple half marathons now in my forties and I'm feeling like I could conquer the world. And so I went back to school and wanted to really help others um, at that point. And how do I help other people really get to their root illness um, and uncover how to really feel normal again when you can feel like no one's listening. So mm. that's kind of the journey that I have been on. And um, it's been a wild ride. Oh, definitely. I would say so. But now what, um, what led you to find functional medicine? How did you discover that, that aspect of, of wellness? So I had kind of always been a hippie. <laughs> Most of my friends would always come to me asking, you know, what the newest, um, you know, supplement that I had tried or, um, different avenues that I had explored in doing my own research just online. And then um, I also had a son who had a lot of health issues that we weren't getting to any answers with GI doctors. And so I began seeing a chiropractor with him and a naturopathic um, practitioner at the time. And I would run on you. This is what I think you need to have looked at. And so I went in and had the same experience of what I do now of like this health detective of let's, let's ask every question about your his, history with health and things that have, you've had put in your body, traumas physically and emotionally that have come your way. Um, how do you eat? How do you feel after you eat? What happens when you eat certain foods? Just a million different questions. And after I saw him, it was just unbelievable. The things that we uncovered that I had never had those questions asked to me before. Um, to see where things were actually stemming from. Mm, okay, that's fantastic. So basically, he kind of got to the root cause of your many different symptoms and, and so forth. And yeah. Just, okay, that that's fantastic that he was able to do that. And through a friend, you, you're finding out about this whole new world, so to yes. speak. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think oftentimes our community is the best place to reach out and find people and ask, you know, who do you know that has been through a similar experience? And that's basically, that was my journey in finding who I found. Mm. Okay. So tell us more about or earlier, you know, you talked about the steps and so forth, but talk mm -hmm. about, you know, what exactly do we mean by functional medicine? How does that relate to, you know, your primary doctor or yeah. other specialists? Can you kind of set the, set us uh, up organizationally for Absolutely. how that falls in? So I like to say that I'm a team player in your health journey. And so I, by no means, am anti-Western medicine. I think it has an incredible place in many of our journeys, especially when um, we are seeking life-saving measures and there are things that um, we really need from Western medicine. Um, but we also need another side that comes from where functional medicine is. And functional medicine at its root is looking at systems of the body to see how they're supposed to function and how they are functioning now and figure out why there is a discrepancy between those two mechanisms. And so when I talk about functional labs, um, there are some primary ones that we look at. One of the number one uh, labs that I look at is called a GI map. And a GI map is something that looks, it's a stool sample. It's, it's not very fun. I talk about poop a lot with my clients. <laughs> um, and if you're listening to this pod podcast, you're probably like, oh, gross. But you know what? I learn so much about people based on what their body is eliminating or not eliminating. And so a GI map is 89 different markers for what is happening in the intestinal tract. It tells us if there's a parasite, if there's a worm, if there's overgrowth of bacteria, if there's not enough of the good bacteria that you're supposed to have in the gut, 
It tells us if um, your intestinal markers, so you have a few different markers that are really key in making sure that your body is doing what it should do. One of them is how it breaks down gluten, which I know is like this big buzzword in health journeys of like going gluten-free. Um, but there's actually a marker to look and see how your body deals with gluten because gluten can be such an inflammatory food if everything else is totally off basis, right? And so in and of itself, it's a wonderful grain when it comes from its whole version and it's unaltered non-GMO version. Um, but for a lot of us, when we have gut dysfunction, things aren't functioning right. We look at this test to see, are you breaking it down appropriately? And is it causing more inflammation than it needs to? And how do we support that? We also look if your body's breaking fat down. A lot of people will have this symptom of, I just feel really bloated and almost a lot of women will describe it as though I'm like four months pregnant after I eat. Right. And so that's like this buildup of gas that happens in the stomach after people eat. Well, there's lots of different reasons that that happens, but the GI map really gives us all the answers to that. You can have something called small intestinal bacteria overgrowth or SIBO that can be causing that. You can have just an off balance of the right gut um, bugs that are supposed to be functioning, a really heavy sitting feeling. And fat is such a key component of our body functioning and working. Cholesterol is one of the precursors for all of our hormone production. And so if you don't have good fats coming into your body and you don't have good cholesterol, then you don't have good hormone production. So we look at all of that. So that's just an example of one of the tests that I run that gives us so much information. Um, I really am someone that the gut is my number one piece of the body that we really go after with every single client, because it is the key to how you feel, um, with like your happy hormones. It's where your dopamine and your serotonin are created, which is what makes you feel balanced. You might struggle with depression that all stems from gut issues. You might struggle with breaking food down. That's that's gut issues. You might have issues with constipation or massive diarrhea, all gut issues, so as you can see, with just one functional test, we learn a ton about what your body is doing and its capabilities to produce what it needs to produce. And then from there, I like to describe our body like a stream. And so you have these different like stopping points along the stream. And then down at the bottom is this like pool. And usually the pool is where a lot of symptoms are at. And so a lot of times people get lost down in that pool of symptoms of my periods are off. I have headaches. I can't eat certain foods. I feel tired all the time. I can't work out with feeling exhausted. All these different symptoms that are floating. Well, I like to go back upstream and look at what's happening. And so all the way at the top is our adrenal system, which is in our um, HPA axis, which is like our hypothalamus. And okay. the, the basic terms of that are where your cortisol is produced. And everyone kind of knows what cortisol is to some extent. It's what helps you get up and go. Cortisol is what shoots out when you're excited. If there's like, you know, a dangerous situation, your body releases cortisol so that you can have less, you know, sludgy material down at the bottom to where we're beginning to see everything function. So I hope that's a helpful description <laughs> of how I get down the stream and a good picture of if you're not sure if you should go to a functional medicine specialist, I think that's a really good analysis of like, do you have this pool that feels like you have all these random weird symptoms that you don't know what to do with? Um, that typically means that you have something going on in all the systems that we need a test for each one of those. And then we pull them all together. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love that. Now, is that in terms of the functional medicine aspect is is that something that you need a referral from another doctor or can you just kind of go straight to the source? No, and... you can go straight to the source. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic that you have access to that. Now, how would you um, typically do people, I guess, know that, hey, I need to go to a functional medicine doctor versus, hey, I need to go see my primary doctor? Right. So again, we don't want to say that those one is better than the other. They can complement one another. So oftentimes you go to your primary care when you have something acute happening. So maybe you have a UTI or you have um, like maybe you're someone that has an autoimmune disease and you have a flare up going on and you need to go in and check to see why you're having some of the big um, 
you know, flare up symptoms that you might with Crohn's, like maybe you have bleeding um, that is happening that needs to have someone take a look at why that's going on. Um, now, the benefit of functional medicine is that even when you're in, acute, in an acute stage, you can use both of us. So the PCP is going to look at some of the more complex pieces of maybe what the blood is doing and if there's something that needs to be corrected with an antibiotic or something needs to be fixed like that, that's like, you know, immediate, but in functional medicine, how I come alongside someone that's like that is I say, let's look at the whole of why this acute symptom began happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I can be an assistance to the PCP by helping them with food choices. You know, we want it to be more complex um, but as you, I'm sure <laughs> know, because of what your podcast is and talking about the food experience and how important it is, food is medicine. And there are so many foods that we can eat that really support us when we are in an acute flare up and when we're not doing well physically. Mm -hmm. um, and as a functional um, practitioner, I can come alongside you and really get down to those core issues of helping there not be so many acute flare ups of situation. So maybe helping you not get sick all the time, helping you, helping your immune system be boosted to a place where it has the ability to fight off certain bugs and viruses that come your way. Or when you do have a flare up of your autoimmune disease, you have better tools to go after it quicker so that you aren't in a place where you have like a severe acute um, infection or a need for a steroid or something like that. Instead, you have all these tools to reach from because we've worked together to really learn what it means to treat the body as a whole. And you learn to reach those tools first, um, while also allowing your PCP to keep an eye if things are going, um, going rogue. Sure. Uh and I love that, that you're, that you're really getting to the source and really looking into, into the why and, and what's going on versus just kind of addressing outward symptoms, so to speak. Absolutely. And that's why I don't diagnose people. I actually, I don't ever diagnose disease. That's not my role. Um, that is okay. for your primary care, that if you need diagnosis, that's the place to go. Um, most of the people that come to me that I'm working with, they might have a diagnosis, but I am in the process of saying, okay, we know that there is a diagnosis, but there's a lot more going on than just your diagnosis, right? Like you would never say you are just your disease. There's a lot more to the process of really looking at the body of a whole, as a whole. Um, and one of those is mindset and stress. That's a really big component that we work through because our body responds really significantly to stress. You know, that's why we feel it in our gut. That's why people will say, you know, they might have an upset stomach when they're like in a um, anxiety producing environment or they're in a fearful situation. There's a reason that a lot of people have um, autoimmune disorders that stem from gut things because we live in such a stressful environment. And so we've got to learn how to deal with those stressful environments can't remove them all, gotta live, but there are definitely ways that we learn how to deal with them so that our gut does not absorb all of it and then go awry. And then every other system kind of comes unraveled. Mm, okay. So will you kind of, what is the relationship with, you've got functional medicine, you've got stress and you get, I, what was the third one? <laughs> and, and food. And, and food. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That whole, that whole try triad, if you will, yeah. of, uh, of things. Can you, what is that relationship and how do you address that from a functional medicine perspective? Absolutely. So, you know, we, because we're looking at the body as a whole, first and foremost, we want to run labs. Like I talked about, because we want to see like, what, what are the, is the actual data telling us? Mm -hmm. And we want to go after that. But then when we're talking about stress, we have to understand its role on our body. And so stress can come in lots of different forms. It's not just like a stressful situation. Stress can come from a surgery. Stress can come from a loss. Stress can come from grief. Stress can come from loneliness, right? These last two years living in what we've lived through. Um, stress can come from um, a breakup um, of a relationship. All of those things, um, traumas, our body absorbs them. There's a really beautiful book called the body keeps the score. It's pretty popular right now. And, um, it, the book, the essence of the book is that our body holds on to whatever we've experienced throughout our life. And we begin to see it in different parts of our, the expression of how our body 
is outworking. So someone might have massive back issues and chronic back pain, and it's real. It's not saying that it's not real. It's not saying, oh, that's all in your head just because you've had something hard. It's saying that those hard things that you've experienced and those stresses and traumas, your body has begun to internalize it and turn it into inflammation. So stress eventually turns into inflammation and inflammation is at the root of almost every disease. When we talk about cancer, when we talk about autoimmune disorders, when we talk about um, like infection, all of that comes down to inflammation and stress causes a ton of that inflammation in all different parts of our body. We can experience it in a multitude of areas. And so oftentimes when I'm working with a client, I work with someone for a whole year because this is not a fast thing. Functional medicine is something that we work really hard at looking at every piece so that we don't miss anything and put all the puzzle pieces together. When we look at back over our life and some of the traumas that have come, oftentimes a lot of my clients need to seek out counseling. Um, something called EMDR, which is something that helps heal the brain's ability to process trauma. It's neuroplasticity, which is, you know, kind of a buzzword right now that our, our brains have the ability to heal. They do. And when we heal our brains, the rest of our body begins to fall back into a line and inflammation begins to go down. Now there's things that we use to support that. Sometimes we use supplementation in some of the nutrition deficiencies that we have going on. But a lot of times meditation, yoga, um, counseling, EMDR, working through a lot of our past traumas, our past experiences, maybe our present circumstances that feel overwhelming, those all contribute to our body's ability to heal and to move forward. Mm, Okay. So you address from a functional medicine perspective, you address a whole gamut of issues that are likely food or stress related in some way. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And stress can also be food related. Sometimes stress comes from like a food that we can't process. And there's, that leads back to figuring out why the gut is in a dysfunctional state. Um, You'll hear me say time and time again, I'm a gut expert. The gut is the key to healing a lot of our body because it's where things stem from. So when we begin with that, then we're able to heal a lot of the other parts Um, including the mind. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. Now, will you, in addition to your own health journey, of course, that led you to functional medicine, will you share, are there any examples of people and what, um, how they've benefited from looking at their situation from a functional medicine perspective? Absolutely. So a lot of times, um, many clients, I, I work with a lot of clients that have IBD, I, irritable bowel diseases. So Crohn's and celiac disease and all these different diseases that really impact the gut. Um, and then I also deal with a lot of people that have like lupus and MS and things like that. So there's kind of this gamut of, of autoimmune diseases uh, typically are the beginning of why someone is coming to me to figure out how to manage some of that. Um, and when they come to me, oftentimes their description of what's going on is no matter what I do, like food just doesn't feel good. I, I don't have the energy that I once had or that I need. I'm struggling to um, go to the bathroom normally. I, I can't either. I can't go or I can't stop going. Mm-hmm. Um, or I feel like my hormones, meaning like for women, oftentimes it's um, my periods are just a mess. Um, you shouldn't have a ton of pain with periods. I know we've been told that that's a normal part of life, but it's not ladies. You don't have to have terrible periods. And then for men, um, a lot of my men are losing hair. Um, they may have low testosterone symptoms of low libido, um, low energy, being able to, to work out or lift weights or gain muscle. That's where a lot of the symptomology comes for a lot of clients that come to me. And so we begin by you know, oftentimes people want to lead with what disease they've been maybe diagnosed with. And while that's important information to me, what's most important to me, because I also have people that don't have a diagnosis, they're confused, is how do we uncover why that is happening within the body? And so when that person comes to me, if you're coming to me and saying, I struggle with maybe an autoimmune disorder, I struggle with energy, I struggle going to the bathroom, all of those things struggle with my, my cycles. All of those things are related to each other. And so 
really functional medicine, you could go to a functional practitioner with any symptom Mm -hmm. and there would be a connection as to why there are parts of the body that are connected and how to really uncover why that's going on. So I don't know if that answered fully for you. (laughs) You It's kind of a difficult thing. You know, I, um, I really tout myself on being a gut expert, but have people come to me with all different kinds of symptomology and they go, can you help? And I say, I can, we can uncover because we have the tools to do it. That's, that's the key component of functional medicine is we have the tools to really uncover why you feel the way you do. And then some tools to help you dig out. Um, and it's a process. It takes work. You can't come to me and say, this is my problem. What do you have to give me? That's not functional health. Um, if you really want to seek after holistic health, you've got to put work in. You've got to, you've got to do work and be willing to, to do the walk, the walk and, and do the journey. Mm, okay. Now on the flip side, are there situations where functional medicine would not be a benefit depending on their circumstance, I suppose? You know, I, I certainly have had people that have come to me that maybe they are in an acute um, situation. So, um, Oftentimes what I will tell people is if they have recently been diagnosed like with cancer, um, typically that's the biggest one, like cancer or like a heart disease issue. I tell them that I need to be part of their team. So I'm not their primary person, but I absolutely come alongside. So I actually, there are very few people that I can't be a part of the team. They might also need Western medicine to come alongside them and and support um, some of the pieces that I don't do. So if you have a heart condition, you may need a heart doctor that's able to walk through. Do you need surgery? Are there certain drugs that are necessary? But there's plenty that functional medicine can support alongside. And I work with a lot of people's doctors. I get um, their permission to talk with them and really be a part of the team so that there's there's not a competing nature, but there's a holding of hands and saying, how do we support this individual together as two different expertise Um, driven people. Um, And then like cancer, you know, you may have decided that you want to have chemotherapy or radiation. Obviously that's not my, my specialty. However, I know a lot about it and I know how to support you through that process so that you actually have better outcomes with the chemotherapy and with radiation that you don't feel as um, awful through the process. There's a lot you can do to really support the system so that it has its top functioning abilities while you're having those treatments. And that's oftentimes what people come to me for is how do I do this um, and do it well so that I don't feel awful through the whole process. Mm, Okay. So it's pretty typical um, to work with a functional medicine specialist, a primary doctor, maybe another specialist, an oncologist or some other, other expert. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love to educate your other practitioners. Um, I find that that's oftentimes my job as well as like, let me educate you on how I'm supporting this person. And because they know the body well, it's, it doesn't take much for them to go, oh yeah, that makes sense. I understand why you're a part of the team as well. And I'm so glad that you're using nutrition and um, focusing on the nutritional deficiencies to really support this individual. Mm, okay. That's fantastic. Now, what is, if, you know, there are somebody is suffering from whatever it is, whatever their situation, what is really the first step and how to kind of determine, okay, I need to go see Renee today mm-hmm. versus, you know, my oncologist or something else. What is that first step in moving forward from a functional medicine perspective? Um, so with functional medicine, you, all you need to do is to set up a consult with me. I always do a free consult with people. I take in their health inventory, understanding what their journey is. Um, if you have a question about a certain disease that you have, I will say absolutely have a, a consultation with me, but also I will help refer you to who you need to see as well. Um, like you said, like if, if you're questioning a cancer diagnosis or something like that, we want to make sure that there's like joint work in that. But the, the number one way is to have a consultation with me and for us to discuss those issues, for me to be able to tell you what functional labs I think that you need, um, and then what kind of journey it will take for us to help uncover what's going on and then rebuild the system. Mm-hmm. So it's a very simple thing. You can go to my website, megaphonefunctionalhealth.com. Um, you can also find me on Instagram, Megaphone Functional Health either place. And um, both of those, you can DM me, you can message me, you can book a consult directly from my Instagram, and you can book a consult directly from my website to be able to meet with me and 
discuss if you're a good fit and if it feels like we could work well together and for you to understand a little bit more about the specifics of what we would do for your particular situation. Um, because again, I don't have a stamp of like, this is the one way that we fix everyone's problems. Um, everybody has bio individuality and it's important to have someone that looks at you in that regard and works through the situation together. Fantastic. I love that. Now from, you know, you several years ago, you were discovering this, this whole new world of functional medicine. How are you now? And do you use obviously your own knowledge, but do you include functional medicine with some different specialists and so forth in your own upcoming journey, just, just ongoing for, for absolutely. You know, after you've had a pretty big health scare, anytime you get a call and someone uses the big C word, it's a pretty frightening experience. Um, and so I'm very careful. Um, I pay attention um, to my body. I try to listen to it. Hence why my business is called Megaphone Functional Health. I want you to use your body as a megaphone to listen. And so I really try to listen hard into what is happening with my body. Um, when things don't feel right, I do my due diligence to reach out. So I have my own functional medicine practitioner. Um, I also have my own PCP that I go to. Um, I just had to do it the other day because I had a UTI that just got too bad for me to treat on my own. And I needed more support than what my own um, typical route would um, be to heal it naturally. And it just got away from me and that's okay. And that's, that's why it's important to have um, all the different people in your basket and know who to turn to. Absolutely. That is fantastic. I just love how you personally have access to these resources as well. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Oh. Well, as we wrap up, are, do you have any kind of words of wisdom or, or things for people to think about as they try to try to digest all of this, pun intended there? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I would say, if you don't feel like yourself, book a consultation with me. <laughs> if you don't feel like you're functioning, you don't need to have all the details of why or where things are stemming from. That's part of my job to help you figure that out. Um, if you want to listen to a great webinar on um, functional health, I have, I'm have. i going to have a link in my Instagram for you to be able to download that. It's a 30-minute webinar all on the gut and how it's the key component to our health. And I give you some really practical steps of some things you can do today that are apart from me that will really help support your health. Um, but ultimately, I'd love to have a conversation with you. I think that oftentimes we're afraid, well, maybe I'm not sick enough to reach out. If you don't feel like you can get up and do the things that you need to do throughout your day, it's worth at least having a conversation. I will be very honest with you if it's not a good fit. And if I don't think that you need what I have to offer, um, I am someone that wants to have pure honesty in my um, business and telling people when they need me and when they don't. Um, and so I'd love to have a conversation. That would be my greatest um, piece of information to give people is reach out, have a conversation, look at my webinar that talks about gut health, some steps you can take right now that really are helpful in you moving forward. Fantastic. Well, Renee, it has been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for all of your continued work with functional medicine and educating people, getting to the root cause. It's super important. Thank you so much for all that you do. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It was great. Hey, everyone. Michelle Seidling here at Food Experience Unplugged. Are you enjoying the Food Experience Unplugged podcast and are ready to ramp it up a level? Then it's time to go premium. With a premium podcast membership, in addition to all the great podcast episodes you know and love, you'll receive additional bonus content and exclusive interviews from many of our podcast guests. You'll receive a live Q&A access each month where I'll address questions pertaining to holistic health and how you can start your journey. You'll also receive weekly shorter video clips with information on tips, tricks, and strategies to get started, to build consistent habits, and to take charge of your health. Go premium today. I'll see you there.